Hi, I'm Leonian from the Dailies Double Shot. I'm here at McCall Hall at Seattle Center at the Seattle International Film Festival. We already got some stars showing up, including Joss Whedon, the director of The Avengers. Let's go ahead and take a look. The biggest star at the red carpet, Joss Whedon, brought his latest film, a modern adaptation of Shakespeare's classic comedy play, Much Ado About Nothing, to the Seattle International Film Festival. What does Joss himself think about his latest film? No movie is exactly what you think going in, but this one we had you know, more control over than almost anything I've done, and we all knew going in. I knew what I was going to get from the actors, that's why I chose them and, and uh, I, I trusted them to be able to pull this off that quick. And, uh, so yeah, it was, um, it was the movie I hope to make better in many ways. We also spoke to Clark Gregg, one of the leading actors in Much Ado About Nothing, who also played Agent Coulson in The Avengers. So what brings you here tonight? I'm here for the um, opening night film is Much Ado About Nothing, yeah. which was directed by Joss Whedon, who also directed The Avengers, and uh, maybe he felt bad because he killed Agent Coulson, but he gave me uh, he gave me another job right afterwards, which was doing this okay. film. I heard they, they made this film in 12 days, right? Was it 12 days? It, it seemed fast. I guess that's right, 12 days. Okay, it's so really too fast, but in a way that's good because you don't have time to... Uh, really question much, you just kind of dive in and give it a shot. What kind of receptions do you expect from this film? I mean, I've seen it in Toronto and people flipped. I saw it at South by Southwest. People really were into it. I'm hoping we'll get the same kind of reaction here. Okay. So what, what, what are your future projects or films with them? Uh, I just came from New York where they announced uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as a new TV show for ABC, which will bring Agent Coulson back to life. Definitely, and you will be the leading actor, right? Uh, it looks that way. Apart from the well-known films, Seattle International Film Festival is significant in bringing exposure to many international and independent films that are not so well-known. So what do you think about all the films that's going to be showed like in, during the festival? What, do you, what expectations well, what do you think they're, they're going to be like? I mean, SIF, to me, the international films are always SIF's strong point because you know, a lot of times you'll see films here that you'll never have the opportunity to see again because they'll never get distribution. Um, this year we have a grant from the Academy and we are focusing on African pictures this year and we have some amazing films that probably once they show at SIF, you, you know, you may not see them again. So I highly recommend trying to check out one of the African pictures and, you know, like our theme this year is Be Curious. I would just kind of pick something outside your comfort zone and just take a risk and see something you might not expect and I bet it'll be a winner. Thank you. And my last question is, uh, what kind of uh, suggestions or tips do you have for those like student filmmakers, probably inside UW, there are a lot of students that are trying to make films, what kind of suggestions do you have for them? Well, I would say the Seattle film community itself is so collaborative and so supportive of one another. So I would just kind of get out there and meet people, um, you know, meet. Nifty is a great opportunity for young filmmakers to submit their work. And, you know, the film school is great. And there's just so women in film here is an amazing organization and real girls. I would say the film community in Seattle is so thriving and I would just get out there and meet people because everyone will help you. So. The Seattle International Film Festival has opened on May the 16th and it will close its curtain on June the 9th. Before that, over 450 films from 85 countries will be showed at various local cinemas in Seattle. Go check them out if you like this grand festivity of films.